feel like I'm holding up a mountain Everywhere that I go, it's a light show, I'm surrounded Bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down, bust down, bitch, I'm What's going on, YouTube, man? It's VME Rico, man. I'm finally back on another video. I know y'all like, man, damn, this dude been on for a minute. I already know, man. Just been busy taking care of business out here. Like I said, I just moved to Arizona. I'm still getting stuff situated and all that. So that's why I ain't been on as much. But, um, man, y'all see by the title. Y'all know what type of um, story time we can get into, man. This story time is crazy, though. Alright, so let me start it from the beginning But before I do go ahead and do that Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe And also go follow me on my social media it's All that will be in the description box down below So make sure y'all go do that Pronto, man But um, let's get to this story time though Now This story time takes place back When I was still living in Ohio With my ex When we had got our first apartment together and stuff Now, I believe that night it was snowing yeah it was snowing real bad it was like basically a snowstorm because ohio at the time we were like winter time when this happened so it was like yeah like real cold out and stuff i think it was like the first month i think that we moved there yeah first month we moved there that this had happened um on my way i was getting ready for work i was on my way to work and stuff i i turned out the apartment complex and everything i got down the street like two three minutes down the street all of a sudden i look in the rear view mirror police siren lights and everything is on i'm like damn what the hell so no the sirens wasn't on it was just the lights but i look back i'm like man what the fuck like damn i ain't even do nothing i just left i just got out the crib but i don't know if i had possibly made a mistake while driving, like, you know, like, did something for the police to pull me over or anything. I didn't know what I did, so I'm kind of dumbfounded, like, man, what's going on? So I pulled over and everything, mind you, it was snowing, everything real hard, and the snow, we had inches around that time. It was at least, like, three inches of snow outside, like, three to four. So I pulled over, and like, damn, I'm about to be late for work for this. I'm like, I don't even know what's going on at this point, so I'm waiting. No, before that, we was, I was driving already, so I'm I um, picking up speed a little bit just to get over because I noticed this big old truck just on my tail. So as I'm increasing my speed to get over, I'm thinking the truck trying to pass me up or whatever. So he's speeding on the next, on the side of me, on the in the other lane, on the right hand lane. So I'm like, okay, like who is this crazy ass person? Like what they own? So. I slow down a little bit just to um, let him go further because I don't know what the fuck he was on. Obviously, I didn't see the police um, riding on the side of the truck or anything because it was so, so, um, like, you know how it is when it's snow, you can barely see type shit. That's how it was. So I couldn't really see the right end of uh, police on the side of the um, truck. No. And that's how I decreased my speed. The truck slowed down too. So I'm like, alright, now something some crazy finna probably happen. So I ain't I ain't nervous or nothing at this point, cause I'm like, I'm ready for whatever about to happen type shit. Like, man, what's up with it? But he slowed down and got behind me. I'm like, alright, now what the fuck really finna go on? Like he finna run me off the road type shit. Like what's the fuck he trying to do? So I um uh, switched back over into the right lane. He switched over into the right lane again. I'm like, okay, now I definitely know there's something going on. So then all of a sudden the lights come on. I'm like, damn, there's a police the whole time. I'm like, damn. So I pull over on the side street or whatever. Um, I stop and everything, you know. I let, he walked up and everything with the searchlight. You know how they got the flashlight and shit. Like when they walking up when it's dark outside and shit. So he walking up and I'm rolling my window down and shit. All of a sudden, he said, excuse me, sir, you know how the police do when they ask for a vehicle registration and all that. He did that. So then he went back to his truck for a little bit, and I was just sitting in my car. I'm like, damn, man, I'm going to be late for work and everything. Like, damn. So after, like, five, ten minutes, he come back. He was like, the reason I pulled you over was because I guess somebody wasn't supposed to be at my apartment complex because that's where it all started, too, like, he was already in an apartment complex, but I didn't know because he was behind me at this point. I seen him coming up the street, but I was already bagging up and pulling off anyway. But he ain't, um, like, 
fly up behind me and then right off bat. It was just like I said, once we got in the uh, street and shit, we even at the apartment complex, that's when, like I said, I noticed some and shit and then that shit was going on. So, like the reason I'm following you is because we got reported somebody, um, I guess, how to explain it. Cause I don't know what he said word for I can't remember everything word for word, but I know he said something about people have trespassing and shit and then motherfuckers I guess kinda look like me and shit. I don't know if he was trying to racial profile or just profiling me just because I ain't I ain't gonna get in too deep on that. Uh, for y'all people that's gonna think, oh yeah, you think everything is racist type of shit cause he put you know it's just the fact that he put me over because I guess I did have some type of identity to the dude that they was looking for. But he said, um, y'all, I kind of looked like the guy that they was looking for. So they already know who they were looking for, but they thought it was, they thought the dude was me the whole time, but it really wasn't. So that's when he looked at my license and everything. And he like, oh yeah, this ain't you, definitely ain't you. And then, um, yeah, he was just saying, like, how the guy basically was trespassing. I think he said he was involved in some other stuff that that's supposed to get him in real trouble. So, um, he was telling me that and stuff, and then he let me go about my day. But it was just so crazy, because it's like, man, it's nighttime. I'm getting pulled over. My ex-girl, my girlfriend at the time, is at the house sleep with her son. And if I call her, she probably not even gonna wake up because I had already just seen her and I know she was asleep when I left the crib. So it was like, damn. And then at this point too, I ain't got no family out there. I ain't got nobody to contact. If anything, if I was to go to the uh, jail or something, I ain't got nobody to contact. That's close by type of shit. Like to come scoop me or whatever. Like I don't know, anything could happen at that point. And I don't have nobody to rely on because I was the only one with a car and me and her was responsible for looking out for each other and stuff because we was like, we pretty much only had each other at our uh, living out where we lived at and I was the only one driving and had the car so it ain't like she could have just woke up and came and got me or anything but um yeah so I was like kind of scared a little bit I was like damn that nigga's gonna give me a ticket or something because I definitely couldn't get no more tickets too because at the time I was already going through a situation back in Illinois where I was basically like going probation, but it's called court supervision. When you go on court supervision, they tell you you can't get in no type of trouble at all until the uh, supervision is over with. So that means if I was to get pulled over for anything, like a ticket, a speeding ticket, anything, they instantly want to put me in jail type shit because they already wanted to put me in jail for a whole year. And they just told me instead of putting me in jail for a whole year, they just want me to pay some fine money. So I was able to come up with that and stuff. So that was back when I was still living in Joliet, though. I had a court date and I got that taken care of and they let me go. So it wasn't even like six months I had since the court date when that happened. So that whole time I'm thinking like, damn, I'm finna get in big trouble. I'm like, I can't even get in no type of trouble at all. I can't even get a speeding ticket. Like motherfuckers, if I get a ticket, I'm going to jail. And mind you, I'm not in Illinois, so I don't know what was going to happen with that, too, because either they could, I don't know how the jail system worked pretty much, but either way, I just thought I was going to get some jail time because they were going to find out I got court supervision and shit, so that definitely could have got me in a lot of trouble. But, um, yeah, I got pulled over, and that's what was running through my head. I'm like, damn, and I'm going to probably lose my license and shit and probably get, um, get the car towed and I definitely at the time we had no tow money for the car so that car was gone that was the end of the transportation for me and her to get back and forth especially because I worked 14 minutes away but you gotta go down a whole highway just to get to my job so it was definitely gonna be hard for me to get to work and stuff back and forth and I ain't like I said I ain't know nobody out there like that except for her and some of her family that was already out there so pretty much that like that kind of mess with me a little bit I'm like damn these niggas really just pulled me over and like shit but dude was cool he let me go and everything he was just saying sorry for the mistake and all that shit he just said I kind of looked like the dude it was it was, it was what it is though I ain't gonna say he was racially profiling me or nothing like I probably did look like dude I ain't never seen the dude or they ain't even show me a picture of the dude so 
I didn't even know who they were looking for. I just know they said they were looking for somebody that in, in our um, apartment complex that wasn't supposed to be there and shit. And for other reasons and stuff. But he let me go and I got to work, I think, on time. I was probably like two minutes late, but the manager didn't say nothing, though. And it was just like, okay, you here, so good. But yeah, other than that, that's just a little story time I decided to share, man. I ain't tell nobody that. I only told her that. And. It was crazy, like I said, I ain't no wolves when I happen. I ain't know if I was gonna get a ticket, I ain't know if I was gonna get arrested for anything crazy, I ain't know what was going on. Like I said, it was all fluky just by him speeding on the side of me. And I'm thinking he's some crazy dude just on bullshit. And then he slowed down and got behind me, switched lanes with me and everything. I'm like, damn, what the fuck going on? And then when the sirens came on, then that's when I knew, oh, it's the police. Like I said, it was snowing out, I couldn't even tell that the truck was a police truck. So yeah, pretty much. I could have got even in trouble for that too, cause I was trying to speed a little bit too to get away from the dude so he could go ahead and move on. But I ain't getting no speeding ticket or nothing. I ain't getting no trouble and shit. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I was good after that. It was just a little crazy story time. I decided to share with y'all and shit. But um, enjoy the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're brand new and shit for more. Um, videos like this and stuff. And I'm sorry, guys. I know, like I said, I've been busy lately. But soon I will be back uploading every single day, so don't y'all worry, y'all just stay tuned and I'll see you guys later on. Peace. Back when I was broke, they was cool with it. Now every move I make, I'm in the news with it. Even if I ain't do it, they be like, you did it.